What's up my plant family? So it's fall here, winter is gonna be here soon enough. And what I love about that time is it's a great opportunity to do some actual planning for the following spring and summer plants. So one thing that I did to plan for my upcoming garden is I got my house painted. Look how, look how much better it looks. It used to be that mustardy, like brownish yellow. Now I have a nice creamy white. And what you'll notice is a beautiful blank slate. So what am I gonna plant there? What do I want to fill that with? Well, let me show you. Oh, look at this poor clematis vine that is just scrambling here. This wants something to climb up. So in this video, what I wanted to do, I wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna build a trellis to fill that wall. Um, I wanna have that entire wall filled with clematis beauty. So I just got back from the hardware store with all of the tools and supplies needed to get my trellis going. So if you're interested in learning how to build a trellis for some of your climbers, stay with me as I show you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned along the way in building trellis for our various climbing beauties. Okay, Plant Vibes Carpenter, here we come. Um, so we're ready to make the trellis. So what I did, First thing before I went to the hardware store was I measured the distance of the area that I wanted to, that I want to cover with the trellis and I also measured the height. I found that it was 10 feet tall and nine feet wide. So what I did was I got planks of wood that are um, eight feet long and eight feet tall. I, you know, I would have liked to get the whole height and the whole width, but I didn't think that my car would be able to fit those. So that's kind of the challenge is making sure you can actually fit the materials in your car. Um, but otherwise, this was all a very inexpensive, um, you know, the, I had, I did buy, you know, I'm a homeowner now, so I should probably have a drill. So I did buy one of these, that was expensive, but um, the wood itself, not too bad, even though the price of lumber has definitely risen over the last year and a half. Anyways, regardless, so what did I buy? I bought these planks right here, which are, um, one inch thick by four inches in width. And these are gonna be the planks that are actually going up, okay? And then I chose to get uh, planks that were one, these are uh, one by two, one inch thick and two inches wide. So these are going to be the planks that are going crossways. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is kind of set up um, the wood you know, somewhere where you can easily lay it out. Okay, so the first thing that we really wanna do, we wanna make sure that everything is gonna be in the right locations. So we need to do a little bit of mathematics, we need to do a little bit of calculations, and we need to do a little bit of marking of locations. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you have the same distance from the top of these planks to this intermediary plank. Um, so I did a simple measurement of four inches. I'm gonna have it be four inches from the very top. And I'm gonna allow this middle plank to be over the edge of these upright planks by six inches. So I measured six inches here, and I also measured six inches on here. And I did a little bit of mathematics, and I have these intermediary planks separated by 16 inches each one. And I've used my pen to make markings. Um, don't worry about making markings. Over time, the, the pen ink will kind of uh, disintegrate so you don't have to worry about markings left on your wood. So once we have some of our initial points, uh, we need to get some drills in, get these first planks going. So I'm gonna be using these one and a half inch screws and I have my, uh, compact driver that I'm just going to quickly um, drill these guys in. Try to do my best to make everything right in that middle section. Okay. Okay, so let me show you guys what I've been doing. This is taking longer than I was expecting, but, so what I did was I measured the distance so that it was about four inches from the top to the first plank, and then I measured a distance of 16 inches in between. 
the planks. I have an overhang of about six inches. And then after I got that first plank all drilled in each, each spot just like that, I measured a distance of 12 inches between where I was gonna have the planks with that similar overhang on each edge. So for most climbers, a lot of climbers, this would be sufficient. Now this would be great. I put this up against the wall and a climber like um, a trumpet vine or a honeysuckle, it would, they would easily climb and kind of wrap their stems around these middle planks. But like I was saying, I want to do a clematis. Now clematis, they don't actually twine with their stem. They actually use the leaf to kind of curl around whatever it's climbing up. Okay, so in order for the clematis to make its way up the trellis, it needs something very, very thin. So what I did, um, what I'm going to do, is I have all of these ring screws, these screws that have this little O-ring at the end. I'm gonna fasten these on each and every one of these planks, and then I'm going to tie a fishing line in between, in between these O-rings to create something that the clematis can actually climb. So let me continue doing that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I've done that. This the project is taking me like two hours to do. I thought it would take maybe an hour. Um, so be prepared to get a little carpenter in your bloods. So in order to get these O-rings into the wood, I have my drill with this drill bit You drill a hole just like that, and then you manually go in and screw these into that hole. I wish I had Samantha here to help me. This is a very tedious <laughs> process. And as you can see, I, had, I closed my garage doors because it's getting late. It's like eight o'clock. I'm tired and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna keep doing this and I'll show you what it looks like here in a minute. It's gonna be worth it. Remember the old saying that I told you guys, if you love your plants, they're gonna love you right back by giving you lots of beauty. Time that you spend curating things for them to climb and enjoy, that's love. So I'm giving my plants love, they just don't know it yet, all right? Okay, can you see the wire that I put in? Is the camera good enough to record it? So I have these wires going all the way across the planks. Tie it at the other edge. And I did it all the way down. All right, I'm sweating, I'm exhausted, but time to go put it outside. It's dark out, I'm gonna go put it out right now. And tomorrow I will be back to show you guys what it looks like in hopefully the sun. Um, so, did I, mention that, did I mention that you wanna get wood that has been treated for weather conditions? That's super important. This has been treated, came pre-treated at the lumber yard at the, uh, at the hardware store. So this is good and weather protected. All right, what do you think? So it, you know, due to the undulations of the actual garden, it doesn't look totally straight in some areas, but maybe that's just my, uh, my eyes being extra picky with it, but I think it looks pretty good. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is that maybe I need to add another line of fish wire going through these middle points, but I can worry about that later. Right now, I'm feeling pretty happy with my trellis. Eight feet tall, eight feet wide, and um, I think it's gonna be pretty amazing. Clematis is going to climb and vine and produce beautiful deep red flowers for me next spring. So let me show you guys what my clematis looks like. I planted this a few months ago when I had an old trellis. And as you can see, I'm just trying to kind of gently place it along that fish wire so that it has something that it can climb up. So it's a very uh, rapid grower. Next spring, it will absolutely explode with growth. But for now, fall is here and it's about to go into dormancy. So I have this project in the books and I am excited for the coming seasons of climbing growth in my garden. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you have created your own trellis and you have other tips and tricks, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. Love reading your tips, your experiences, and tons of advice. You guys are always giving me such awesome ideas and great feedback. So thank you guys for being a part of the Plant Vibrations journey. Stay tuned as we continue to create more projects, do more planting, do more gardening, both inside the home um, and outside the home. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you soon. Ciao.